Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is your work at home mom, April. Um, and this is going to be another um, tutorial and on uh, my um, tips and tricks for iMovie. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to animate um, different objects in iMovie. Um, this uh, method is um, easily used for anything that you would like to, any picture that you would like to insert into one of your iMovie um, videos. As you can see, um, I have a animated lipstick and it can be moved around the screen, you know, wherever I'd like to place it. I just, you know, have it coming in like this just for the purposes of this video and because this um, is going to be the video that I'm going to be using to present all of my tips and tricks. Um, and in this video, she's doing her own ipsy bag. Anyway, it's neither here nor there. So without further ado, let's get into this video. So the first thing you're going to want to do to make your own um, PNG because it needs to be a PNG in order to be inserted into um, a video um, is either one you can Google one or two you can find you a picture and make your own and myself I've chosen to go to Pixlr editor no I'm not sponsored by iMovie or any of the other features that I've used in any of these videos um, I just found these useful and I wanted to share all of these different features with you guys so um, you're going to open the image from your computer. You're going to choose the image that you wanted to insert. I chose this one. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to go down here on the right, and I'm going to add a second layer. I'm going to go right over here to this lock. Double click it so I get a check. I'm going to bring that layer up over the first layer. And I'm going to go right here and drag it over so I can better handle it. I'm going to go right over here to this magic wand. I'm going to click on it, come back over. Click on the image and you see those eye outlines. That's what it needs to look like. I'm going to go right here to the eraser. I'm going to click on that. I'm go up here at the top. Make sure it's on 200. Perfect. Then I'm just going to erase it. Just as you see, I'm going to hold down on um, my mouse pad and erase. I'm going to go up here to the top. Click File. Save. I'm going to move the quality all the way up to 100. I'm going to make sure that this format is exactly as it should be PNG and then I'm gonna save it as you guys already know I have it saved because it's already over there so I'm gonna skip that step and move on to iMovie and here's that lipstick I'll bring it down for you guys once more and I'll drop it let's see you can drop it anywhere you want to in the frame but I'll drop it here you can move it either way, left or right, you know, to stretch it however long you'd like it to come in and go out. But yeah, and then you're going to go up here to the top right here where this magic wand is. Click on that, click picture and picture. And then as you can see, it's, you know, it is movable. You can uh, make it smaller, you can make it bigger, just, you know, whichever you like. Um, and this right here is called a keyframe feature, and that is what we will be using. I'm going to move it right here. I'm going to hit the space bar, let it play a minute, and hit the space bar again. Drag it out, hit that keyframe, space bar, let it play a second, drag it, hit that keyframe again, space bar, and then you have to continue these steps for however long wherever you would like um, you know, the image to come or go. Play it a little bit. Let it go. Keep frame. And like I said, you can make it, you know, smaller or bigger. However you so desire. And now it is has disappeared. I'm going to stretch out where I could show you guys it going a little further than what it has. Okay, so bam, keyframe. frame. Okay. And you can move it across the screen if you like. And you just hit the space bar. And you just continue to 
use these methods all the way across. Until you get, you know, the desired that you're going, the desired look that you're going for. Okay, and I'm gonna go over here and play it and see what it looks like. You'll see it slowly moving, um, but you know, you get the idea and how you can make your own PNG. I mean, you can use this method for anything. You can make it for, you know, faces. You can use it for, you know, makeup. You can use it for, you know, a smile face. You want it to pop in and out. You can use this, you know, for any type of object that you would like to come in and out of the frame. Um, Pretty much that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you've enjoyed um, this tutorial and um, I will see you all guys next time and thank you everybody for stopping by. To my new subscribers, thank you for coming by. To my old subscribers, thank you for standing by. And um, you all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys in my next video.